I'm Dr. Joshua Boucher, and I am a family medicine doctor, and I work over at Search right now on the Ethel Lund building, and uh, potentially at Vintage Park in the future. Yes, so I went to medical school at Des Moines University and then I uh, went into active duty from there and did residency in Augusta, Georgia in family medicine. And uh, during my residency, I continued to develop skills uh, within my passion, which is pain and more focusing on the interventional side of pain and how uh, we can help pa uh, patients um, overcome the, the mental and emotional hurdles as well as the actual pain. And so I learned a lot of different uh, interventions there and every chance I had I was just absorbing those tools. But yeah, and then I completed my military obligation and I wanted to go somewhere beautiful uh, where I can put these tools to use and uh, we already have family here so it was a great choice. So a lot of patients come to me and they've already exhausted multiple options. Physical therapy, medications, they've gone to see specialists, perhaps they've already had surgery, and then they come to me and um, they have significant limitations. So I like to ask about those, like what would you like to do? Would you like to go hiking or doing certain activities? And uh, after I get to know what their goals are, then we try to get them to achieve those goals. And I look at pain in two different ways. One is how are they experiencing the pain? How is it affecting them mentally and emotionally? Uh, how can we improve that, whether it's through diet, through um, different uh, CBT, cognitive behavioral therapy techniques, or perhaps acupuncture. And then also I look at the source of the pain where is the pain coming from, and uh, could it be related to something that we can do manipulation for, or do we need to do different procedures such as injections or um, a variety of other procedures that I can offer. Uh, just today, this morning, I had a patient who I saw, she about three weeks ago I saw her, she had had chronic hip pain, and she was unable to do her normal things that she'd like to do, like go on hikes and um, explore Juno, and she was really unhappy with it all. And it was affecting her emotionally, and uh, she wasn't having very positive thoughts about the whole experience. And then um, I treated her, and we discussed, uh, you know, overcoming those hurdles. But we actually just focused mostly on the pain source, and. Uh, I saw her today and she said, well, I haven't taken any medications. I've been able to move and walk around and I'm not in any pain like I was before. She said the pain is just kind of barely there. It's a two out of 10. So we finished the treatment today and she said it was down to zero and she was pretty happy about it. The whole experience moving here was, um, was actually really fun because our family took a trip and we went through Arizona and we saw the Grand Canyon and we went through California and saw family and the Redwoods and then uh, we actually uh, barged our household goods up and we flew up here. Um, but uh, we were lucky enough to find a place out the road and so we're renovating that which is going at a Juno pace which we understand is <laughs> not typical to the lower 48 which is fine. Um, so, but it's been a great experience. I've loved just how welcoming everyone has been and uh, just uh, incorporating me and wanting to, to help me and to give me the tools that I need to help the patients out. So it's been great so far.